Internet! Hello, Internet! What are we doing today? We're building a CO2 reactor out of clear PVC sent to us by Eddie Katia. Uh, as you can see here on the table, we've got the parts laid out and we're ready to get at it. Um, actually using a 790 multi-purpose uh, glue to put this together, which is uh, clear PVC glue. So if you're going to make a clear one like this, just make sure you use some clear glue like I am. Couple of slip fits on the end, hold them in place, and we're off to the races. We got those two 90 degree threaded fittings that are going to be going, those are those blue ones that are going to be going once we have the end cap on here. Always be sure to clean up your work as you're going along. Those will get threaded in with some plumber's tape. Right now I'm cutting the hole for the brass fitting that's going to take the CO2 into the CO2 reactor. Uh, I have to cut the hole a little bit because I want to cut it undersized. So I used a step bit so that the hole on the outside is a little bit bigger than the hole on the inside. So it's a real tight fit to get that thing in there. Then apply some glue to the threading of the brass CO2 fitting. Then uh, that will actually melt the, C the, uh, the PVC itself and uh, keep, the, keep the brass fitting in there with a nice watertight fit. The pump that is sitting on there on the counter there is a little bit undersized for this, so I had to swap to a different pump that does 2,100 gallons an hour instead of this. Uh, this one does about 1,400 gallons an hour, so uh, I needed a little more power for how big this one is because it's a two-inch pipe and it's filled with bio balls, and we don't want a ton of air going into this thing. So, uh, which is generally what will happen if the pump is undersized. Uh, once we got the, the bio balls are in there to agitate the water flow and mix the CO2 to get it to dissolve into the water column when it's added back up into the tank, you'll never know it happened. You'll end up not having all these uh, crazy bubbles flying all around in your display, which is the whole point of doing this in the first place. Um, as you can see me putting it into the sump, I put it into the next to last chamber because the first chamber aerates with oxygen, the third chamber aerates with uh, aerates with co2 and it all heads back up into the display well this has been the uh super for sure foreshortened version of the live stream if you want to see the long version check it out uh it is up on the web page or on the uh, home page there you can check out that video anytime uh be sure to tune in tonight for tonight's live stream on friday the 30th of june and uh we shall be seeing you on the flip side have a great day out there everyone all right Later.